Hello everybody, this time I'm making over our dining space. We don't have a separate dining room, so this space is kind of in between a room and a nook in my opinion. We do have a family of five, so we need a fairly large dining table. This does make the room feel a little small, but we have to work with what we have. So look at this amazing John Singer Sargent painting. Once again, it starts with art for me. I've loved this painting for years. The colors, the atmosphere. It's called Carnation Lily Lily Rose. The original painting is quite big, so I wanted the poster to be big too. I was looking at this poster for ages and finally ordered it when it, there was a sale. I would say if you start with art, it's very easy to move forward with your design choices from that. Your art will give you your color palette, the atmosphere, the style, the mood. It can also help with the layout of the room. Where is the art going to go? How much space is, is it going to take? For me, this art answers all of those questions. So let's get started. Now I know I'll need to find a few small pieces of art for the space left over. This amazing original clay art is just what I'm looking for. The style, the feel, the colors, the size. Look how adorable. I'll need to paint the wood backing though it looks cheap untreated. And since the sergeant painting will have a black frame, this one needs a dark one too. This original painting was a gift from a friend. This blue color will go so well with everything. I wanted to try and make the paint look earthy, sort of like chalk paint, so I was trying different ways to give that illusion. After painting one coat, I mixed some black paint in to darken the color. Then I watered it down. I tried two methods. First, just smudging it on with paper towels and then brushing it on with an old dust brush. Of course, I'm spraying some water and wrapping it in plastic in between. Okay, so I've done the two different methods and I'm definitely liking this one more. Just making sure everything goes together before committing. Yep, it was really nice, so I went ahead and painted the back wall. I did two coats before I painted the darker tone with the brush. To be honest, the effect came out super subtle and probably doesn't make much of a difference. I'm hanging the sergeant painting because that will give me the place for the rug and dining table. I've had this old rug for 10 years. I bought it from Spain from the same flea market that is on my first video. It's wool and it was made in the 70s by the Kashkai people. We have three children, but fresh stains are easy to clean from natural wool and the colorful patterns make it forgiving. It might not be my first choice since there is already quite a lot going on, but it's what I have for now. I'm still so in love with this anthro fern style cabinet flip I made in a previous video. It will be an important part of the final look. I found this table from Facebook Marketplace for 200 euros. It's solid wood and quite old. This ceramic flower is gorgeous. These small pieces are going to fill the space perfectly. Last but not least, the little ceramic art I drifted for 2 euros. Okay, let's make two upholstered benches for the ends of the tables. I'm using an old foam mattress and woodcuts from our old DIY dining table. Once again, the art is a guide for the size and the fabric color. I'm making the bench under the sergeant poster a little bit wider than the frame, so it will be a two-seater. The other side will have the same bench, but it will not be as wide, but a comfortable one-seater. This way it will be easier to get around the space on this side of the table. Usually the hardest part to get right are the corners, so this time I'm sewing them and not just folding the fabric in. Then I'm slowly stapling the fabric to the board and frequently flipping the bench over to see how it's looking. Completely unrelated, but if you like the portrait of me by my son in my last video, here's another one by my other kid. I think the hair and lips are quite accurate, but the high cheekbones are unfortunately much too flattering in this one. I already had a set of these black hairpin legs, so I ordered another one. 
They will match nicely with the dining chair legs. I found this cute little planter at the thrift store for free and I think the colors are gonna go really well with everything so let's put a plant in it. Then I'm adding the seating. Let's see how this wider bench looks like with everything. Like I mentioned we already had these chairs. They are really comfortable and are a welcomed neutral since there is already quite a lot going on. I'm adding these thrifted cushions for comfort and once again the colors are from the sergeant poster. Then I'm adding in these plants. Flowers always make me happy. And there's a lily. I'm putting them in this old Viresa vase I drifted for 20 euros a long time ago. I added this vintage silk kimono from Japan just for fun. Look at these fun mercury glass style pumpkin candle holders I drifted for 270 each. I started filming this makeover in the spring but these are perfect for fall. These placemats are 100% linen and were priced by weight at the thrift store, so they only cost a couple of euros. And I'm doing a quick table setting for the photos with things we already have. Then the makeover is ready. It for today's video i'm currently in the closet because there's lots of kids upstairs i hope you liked it if you did please consider subscribing and i hope i'll see you in the next one bye